we come back once again in k2 kai tech workshop and today we're gonna remove three control for loads but this load should be replaced by relay which may control high power loads don't move your eyes let us start rf four channel remote control of course it depends on the radio frequency it has it come in two modules it has a, a control and a receiver of course a control will transmit radio frequency and the receiver will receive it and of course this module gives you the ability to work with four different loads as you see here the receiver module is having seven pins this pin is like a test pin because as you press any button on the remote it will send a logic high pass and we're gonna use this terminal to determine whether our module is receiving or or our system will be working properly going straight to the other extremity to start with ground the second pin is vcc plus 5 volts and the rest will be the data pin that will be controlled by the remote control of course it means their logic will be determined or or no the status of the button of the remote right the component in our circuit will be jumper wires arduino breadboard foliage which are red green yellow and blue and some resistors of course four resistors for current protection or we will work together with the module to produce the desired functionality now let us dive in in the most important part every engineer if he is going to use an equipment he must make sure that it is working properly this is the module receiver and the transmitter we will hook the lead in the breadboard and of course we will hook the module receiver in the breadboard of course and power our arduino we have seen in starting that there is a a pin on our receiver module that always goes high when you press the push button on it either push button you press the mode the, that pin will go high okay let me try to power the arduino and connect vcc to vcc of the receiver module ground to the ground of the receiver module and if i finish that i will take the output from vt and then connect it to the anode of my lead which i'm going to use in testing and then i will connect the ground of course the negative terminal of my lead to the ground and after i will test if each button i pressed set my lead high now you see that either, either push button i pressed the lead goes high now i can make sure that my module is working properly now after finishing up with testing this is the arduino program that will allow us to fully control our rf for channel mod module remote control module you see that as other program it is having three parts which is variable declaration the void setup the void loop which control the if condition to operate our RF for channel remote control so you have seen that as you press the button one of of the output the digital output d0 up to d3 goes high but once you release the button the logic 420 and that will not give a continuous operation uh, as desired by the operator like if you are switching the relay or the lamp now you see that i declare the input pin which are d0 up to d4 and then i light up the led from that d0 up to d4 you see the lod1 up to lod2 and each logic has its own flag 
which will flag variable which will restore the flag or the status of that button that output now you see in the void setup there is a four input pin on my arduino which will be detecting the the value gotten from gotten from the the remote control and then the output pin which will set the the auxiliary which will set the auxiliary actuator applied of course connected to our arduino and then in the void loop you see that i lead the logic level on d0 and then lead the, lead the flag of that port and then if i find that the flag is zero and the d0 on my receiver goes high it means that the button that is corresponding to d0 is already pressed at that time i will set my d0 flag to one and then light up the red corresponding to that pin d0 and of course you see that d1 will be will glow and it goes high and i do that to the remaining four leads and after i set back my flag to zero after compiling the sketch and find that there is no problem i upload the code to the arduino and the output is running like that you see that as i press the button the corresponding led will goes high it's the same thing if there is a delay there to switch high power load that load will go on and start operating until it wait to the next if i press another push button automatically that load will go low and the arduino activate the, the load corresponding to that push button so guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you need the material used in this project go down in the description below there is the links and don't leave without giving a hand by liking and sharing this video it was alex Sebahiri and the channel is k2k youtube channel ciao bye